The learning gap in America can be quite large for students whose first language is not English. Many school districts in the area struggle to find and keep English learning teachers. In Vardaman, between high school and elementary, there are over 100 students who are in the EL program and only two EL teachers. Our Keely Shields talked with those teachers and administrators about the program and how they help those students succeed. Keely? It may seem overwhelming to introduce English as a second or even third language to so many, but it actually provides educators the experience needed to develop a, a blueprint to help students across the language barrier. Here's the breakdown of their process. Brandy Bray has been the high school EL teacher at Vardaman for six years. Teaching 26 non-English students how to speak the language can be a daily challenge, and she says the first step to helping them learn was teaching herself. I had to learn how to, how to break it down enough um, as sound, you know, phonics, and a way that I would not overwhelm them and a way that would excite them. When a non-English speaking student comes to the school, they fill out a home language survey to see if they are in need of services. Principal Timothy Cook says when they identify those students, they will start with the learning basics. It could be, for example, our students have no English. Uh, if they come straight from another country, they don't know how to speak English, uh, we will take them at our basic level. We'll, we'll use flashcards, the alphabet, uh, phonics, and things like that. Anytime you would go to a new country and learn a new language, you have to start at the beginning. Because the program is so large, they have even included other students to help with their peers. It's a buddy system where we'll put them with another student who, who knows that language, and they kind of walk around the class to class with them and kind of introduce them and, and kind of interpret for them. Bray says it's important for her to create a bond with her students. This helps decrease their anxiety and help them get excited to learn. When they understand something for the first time, they really get excited. They're all excited to learn. Once they become more comfortable with me and they can start to relax and know that they can trust me, they all get excited to learn. With graduation just days away, she says the most rewarding part is seeing her students walk across the stage. I get excited to see them reach their goals. That's our number one goal, goal when they get here is that they are going to graduate. And that's what we work towards. Um, but when I see them do it, it is so rewarding. Both Cook and Bray say the program wouldn't be where it is today without the continuous support from their faculty and staff.